It's like the whole country has held its breath, all waiting for the Supreme Court judgment in a few hours. Okay? Now, uh, the whole purpose of this recording is to prepare you for the judgment. Whatever side it goes. Okay? Now, um, I think it's only right and proper that I say very early on that this recording is not for those who believe the just concluded elections were free and fair. Okay? This recording is not for those who do not care about the future of their children and grandchildren. Okay? This recording is not for those who are selfish and comfortable and believe that uh, life must continue the way it is, whatever happens. What what I sort later, including your children and great grandchildren. Okay, this is this recording is not for those people. Fortunately, there are plenty of videos on YouTube to make you happy. Yeah, there's one channel in particular, which is run by a guy who has uh, specs. Yeah, he'll make you very happy. Okay, he'll give you all the right things you want to hear. Okay, and uh, that is their democratic right. It is actually an individual's democratic right to dig into the sand and then put their heads there and then bury their heads as deep as possible in the sand as long as they can remain alive yeah? because it's not your democratic light, right to take your own life <laughs> but as long as you can remain alive deep deep with your head deep buried in the sand like an ostrich yeah uh, that is your democratic right yeah so I would recommend I would highly recommend that you move over to that channel okay now for the rest of us this recording is dedicated to you, long-suffering Kenyans who have been through so much, yeah, and yet it appears there's so much more to come. Take heart, take heart. Now, um, if I can just give you a parable, I do not know what the Supreme Court judges will tell us in a few hours. I do not know what the judgment is, and I cannot make any predictions, okay? However, if you're walking in the sun and you're expecting a nice day on the beach, okay, and then you see some very powerful people, yeah, rushing around and they're wearing raincoats, <laughs> what would you do? And note, these are very powerful people, yeah, from the people who have got the capacity to make rain, okay? If you saw those guys rushing around, they're in very heavy raincoats, yeah, the sun is shining, you're expecting a sunny day. But there are people wearing raincoats, yeah, and even some already have umbrellas, yes? Some are carrying even two or three umbrellas. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd cancel my trip to the beach and prepare for rain, okay? Now that is a parable. Just think about it. Anyway, I do not know what the Supreme Court will decide. But I'm here to tell you, take heart, because it does not matter what they decide, okay? Now, let me take you back to a very chilly night at the committee prison. In the year 1957, uh, I believe the month was February. I suspect, not very sure, but I think the date was around 18th. A man was about to go to the gallows. Okay, a man was about to be hanged. His name was Washiuri. Yeah, Dedan Washiuri. Okay, the year was 1957. Now, if you're an angel and you came into his cell, I'm sure you'd have a lot, you'd be shocked at what you'd have to tell him. Because that man at that time, according to eyewitnesses, according to various reports that came through, was a defeated man. He had been betrayed by people who were very close to him. He had been betrayed by his own people. Yeah, shot like an animal, put on trial, blah 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 for leading the Mau Mau and he was going to hang and a lot of Wazungus were very happy the powers that be were very happy okay the guy was just defeated I'm sure going through his head he was saying I this I've lost this battle it was all for nothing blah 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 and so on but wait a minute had the man been able to see just two and a half years later he'd have been very shocked and very delighted because two three years later was 1960 and the independence shockingly was around the corner people like Jomo Kenyatta were being released yeah not a friend of the Momo obviously but that's a story for another day but they were being released okay 
everybody knew that independence was coming change was in the air yeah but then of course by that time then and Kimathi had been hanged yeah so what am i saying i'm saying that those of us who want a better kenya those who fight for a better kenya do not have the privilege of seeing what the future <laughs> we do not have the privilege of seeing the future and therefore i want you to have hope whatever the judgment is have a lot of hope and it is not hope for nothing unlike dead and kimathi we have a lot of things to be very grateful for a lot of positive things have happened a lot of very very incriminating evidence has been brought before the supreme court i think uh, it has been made very clear to the whole world those who want to see that something went very wrong yeah it is clear yeah it has been brought forward of course the explanations of course there are legal technicalities that could um, change things but so what yeah we have been able to see we have been able to understand a little more of what happened it's no longer propaganda it's no longer hearsay yeah <laughs> it's no longer nasa propaganda we have a very good idea of what happened okay that's a good thing secondly before the elections there was no solution in sight yeah but now we have the perfect solution the people's republic of kenya long live the people's republic of kenya yeah secession okay that that is a solution and that is on the table right now yeah believe it or not it is on the table a lot of people are just wishing it away a lot of people are dismissing it a lot of people are doing a lot of things but believe you me it is on the table it may not happen tomorrow but mark my words it shall happen in the fullness of time it shall happen and that makes me very happy that makes me positive that makes me ready for whatever judgment will come back from the supreme court okay and it should also make you happy in case the judgment does not go according to expectations please don't cry okay hope is in the horizon okay rescue is in the horizon that one i can assure you our constitution says sovereign power lies in the hands of the people yeah that's me and you okay and me and you have a hope me and you have a dream and so if what is said in the constitution is correct and i'm sure it is correct if you live in the republic of kenya yeah then surely hope is in the horizon because the will of the people is towards secession a peaceful secession bila vita without violence no drama a peaceful secession we are not happy with this marriage and we beg for permission to live amicably yeah to live and go and chat out our own future yes we are living a villa yeah everything is there flowing with milk and honey there's everything yeah but we are ready to go to that slum and start afresh okay we just beg for the opportunity to go to that slum and start afresh so folks there's hope there's plenty of hope whatever the verdict that comes through so hold your he- hold your head high watch out na tension watch a suspense no need for that just relax listen to music that you love and start dreaming of the people's republic of kenya and what role you're going to play in the people's republic of kenya secession is definitely coming this is not the idea of a few mad people this is not a way to make somebody president uh, through the back door this is not a way to make somebody who has been desperate to be president president <laughs> this is not the idea of one community in kenya yeah this is the will of the people and this is an idea whose time has come have you ever tried to stop an idea whose, whose time has come it's impossible this is an idea whose time has come and all shall be well and it shall be so if you prepare yourself in this way then if a miracle happens you'll be over the moon if a miracle does not happen you'll still be cool long live the long suffering people of kenya let justice forever be our shield and defender until next time this is chris kumakuja